Hello everyone, this is Mehdaz here. Welcome to the fourth tutorial of CCL, Cisco Certified Network Associate. I hope you are like my videos. If you are a new user, please subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notification. Let's start with the session. In previous tutorial, we have done some configuration. As I told you, it will be remain in the RAM, random access memory. So we need to store the permanent that is NVRAM. So execute the command write memory. It will store the current configuration to NVRAM. Here I am executing this command in privilege mode. In privilege mode, you can save the configuration as well as view the configuration. There is one more method to store the current configuration to NVRAM. Here we are writing to the memory. We have one more command called copy. Copy from running config to start config. It is nothing but from RAM to NVRAM. So execute the command copy running config space startup config. Yes, now the running config configurations file is stored in the destination file name called startup config. Now we will check. So go to physical. In physical option, you can see the toggle power switch of your router. Here you own or off your router. In case any restart or power failure happens, the router will restart. So, if we are, if you forget to save the configuration file, it will lose. Now we enter into user mode, and enable and type the password. Here, here we are set a secret password. Enter the secret password. Now we are in privilege mode. Here you can retrieve back the configuration file from startup config to running config. So the destination file name is running config. Now you got the file. It is showing some bytes information, some file size per second. Okay. So now you learn how to save the configuration to memory and how to copy the current configuration, the running config to startup config and vice versa. In these two scenarios, we only deal with RAM and NVRAM. What to do if the router fails? Basically, it is a hardware or hardware device. If the data is corrupted or hardware failed, we need to replace the router, right? Then we need to store the configuration in somewhere. Yes, we need a backup. So we need to store the configuration as backup in some server location. We are using TFTP server. In next tutorial, I will explain you how, how to do router backup with TFTP server. If you like this video, please share and comment below if you have any doubt. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.